Hi everyone. This video contains top 10 important multiple choice questions on electricity sources. So don't miss the video. Watch the video till the end to cover all the 10 MCQs and their explanation in the coming slides. Question number 1, which source contributes the highest share to electricity generation in India? Option A solar power option B wind power option C coal based thermal power option D hydro power Here let us see all the options one by one solar power solar energy accounts for approximately 8% of India's overall installed power capacity Wind power contributes around 5% of India's total installed electricity generation capacity. Coal based power contributes around 71% of India's total electricity generation. Hydro power contributes around 9% of India's total installed electricity generation capacity. So you know the answer. The answer is C that is coal based thermal power Question number 2 Electricity produced by utilizing the dash energy of stored water in reservoirs in hydroelectric power Option A potential option B kinetic option C solar option D sonar Let us see potential energy by virtue of its position is called a potential energy energy by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy energy generated from sunlight is called a solar energy energy generated from sound waves is called solar energy so here dash energy of stored water is that stored water indicates position So energy by virtue of its position is called potential energy the answer is a potential energy question number 3 match list 1 with list 2 list 1 contains energy forms of energy one solar energy two wind energy three hydro power four thermal power list 2 features of these energies yes seasonal variation B fastest growing C reliable base load D intermittent So here we match we try to match list 1 with list 2 first solar energy solar energy related to B fastest growing energy in a, the world second wind energy wind energy is intermittent because whenever there is a wind speed then only that wind uh, wind energy is generated to its full capacity otherwise it slows down so intermittent is the matching for wind energy three hydro power it is seasonal variations it depends on rainfall if there is more rainfall more water is stored in reservoirs more hydro power can be generated fourth one thermal power thermal power is a reliable base load because the coal supply as long as coal supplies are there thermal power is a reliable base load for the entire nation So the answer is D. Why means one B, two D, three B, four C. Question number four. Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion A, and the other is labeled as reason or assertion A. Ocean energy has low theoretical potential for electricity generation in India. So here low is wrong because India major part of the India is uh, surrounded by oceans. So it low is wrong. High is correct. So assertion is false. Next as reason or India has a long coastline, but it is not suitable for large scale tidal and wave power projects. So here but it is not is wrong. Instead there it should be so it is. So reason R is also false. No options are there. So here both assertion A and reason R are false. So the answer is four. Both A and R are false. Question number five. 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टेस्ट स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट ये हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्लांट यूज टर्बाइन ड्रिवेन बाय पोटेंशियल एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ वाटर सो द स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट बी थर्मल पावर प्लांट यूज बॉयलर्स एंड स्टीम टर्बाइन टू कन्वर्ट हीट एनर्जी इन टू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू सी न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट जेनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बाय फ्यूजन रिएक्शन इन साइड ए रिएक्टर कोर हियर फ्यूजन इज फॉल्स इन स्टेट फिशन शुड बी देयर सो स्टेटमेंट सी इज फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट डी सोलर फोटो वोल्टाइक सिस्टम कन्वर्ट सनलाइट directly into electricity using semiconductor technology so statement d is a true let which option is right so option 2 is right because a b and d only are correct statements question number 6 which of the following is a non renewable source of electricity a wind energy b geothermal energy c solar energy d natural gas ye yeah, energy from windmill is renewable means it never be depleted in nature it will be always there in a atmosphere so this is a non renewable source of electricity geothermal energy energy from the internal heat of the earth is also renewable it is also everlasting c solar energy energy from the sunlight is also renewable okay next d energy generated from natural gas is non renewable as its resources are going to decrease on one day so natural gas is not an everlasting source of energy so the answer is d natural gas question number 7 dash technology converts sunlight directly into electrical energy a yes, solar thermal b concentrated solar power csp c photo electrochemical cell d solar photovoltaic pv so here a solar thermal systems concentrate sunlight to produce heat which creates steam that powers a turbine so this is not seen in a solar power next one csp also uses mirrors or lenses to focus sunlight to generate heat producing steam to run turbines so this is also not related to solar technology next photo electrochemical cells primarily convert sunlight into chemical energy like a hydrogen d solar photovoltaic technology converts sunlight directly into electrical energy those are option d is a correct question number 8 match list 1 with list 2 list 1 energy 1 geothermal energy 2 tidal energy 3 nuclear energy 4 clean energy list 2 source 1 a ocean currents b fission reaction c natural gas d internal heat of earth so geothermal energy tidal energy nuclear energy clean energy will be come, will be matched with the list 2 so choose the correct answer from the options given below so here a b c d options are there now we start matching them geo means earth thermal means heat so it is a matched with internal heat of earth next tidal tides are seen in oceans so energy generated due to the tides in ocean currents are called ocean currents so two matches with a nuclear energy here fission reaction is the basic principle fourth one clean energy natural gas is comparatively clean with respect to that of a gasoline petrol diesel etc so here matching a is correct one is d 2 a 3 b 4 c question number 9 given below are two statement one is labeled as assertion a and the other is labeled as reason r assertion a nuclear energy cannot provide consistent base load electricity here cannot is a wrong in its place can should be there that means nuclear energy can provide consistent base load electricity that means electricity 
can be generated for ever assertion so it is a assertion is false reason nuclear reactors can operate continuously for long durations without interruption so reason is true so options what is the option here a is a false or is a true so the answer is 4 a is false but r is true question number 10 the last two question which of the following statements are correct smart grids enable two way communication between utilities and consumers so this statement is true b smart grids eliminate the need for conventional power plants so here eliminate is wrong so do not eliminate should be there smart grids do not eliminate the need for conventional power plants so statement b is false statement c smart grids can integrate renewable energy sources efficiently so thus this statement is true statement d smart meters are essential components of smart grid systems this is also true so here the options are 3 that is a c and d are correct but b is wrong so answer is 3